collaboration that I'm doing with a bunch of ladies from Geeks and Beauties. It was started by Andrea. Everybody of course will be linked down below so you can go and check them out. This month it is Sailor Mercury. I'm not a big Sailor Moon um, aficionado. I don't know much about it at all. I basically never watched it. Um, but I am going to do a fairly simple nail art design. There will be a little tiny bit of stamping um, and um, some 3D elements and just fairly simple. Um, so what I have started with is on my pointer finger and my little finger I have two coats of cotton candy from Angel Kiss Nail Lacquer which is an Australian indie brand. This is a blue, light blue hollow polish. Um, on my ring finger I have two coats of BYS uh, French white, Aussie brand. And on my middle finger I have two coats of OPI uh, nail lacquer in silver canvas. These two fingers also have a layer of sesh feet on them. Um, I actually painted my nails last night and put the top coat on them last night. So they are 100 completely dry on those two fingers um, which is always a good thing if you're going to be doing something like sticking vinyls on or in my case uh, these things um, these are usually referred to as French nail tips or French nail tapes um, I am going to be using these ones that look like um, pointy things So on the white nail, I am going to stick a couple of these. Like It is super important when using these that your polish underneath is 100% dry. If it is not, you will lift it up as you take off the, um, the tape and you don't want that. Make sure you press them down well. Not completely perfect, but anyway. <laughs> I'm going to take the cotton candy. Oh, 
before the polish has a chance to dry, I'm going to very carefully peel these up. get left with relatively clean lines on the nail. Now we're going to move on to the little bit of stamping that we're going to do. I am, I have my little cotton clawy thing. Um, this is a new stamping plate that I just got from Born Pretty. I am going to use this little star image here. I'm going to use my new tiny stamper and a fairly grotty looking scraper. I'm going to start with the white polish. Do my usual clean up with my thumbnail on my other hand. before I was ready. Now, if you make a mistake, there are a number of options. Let's see if I can get it to work. I'll use my sticky roller just to take it off. Now, that's one of the reasons for putting um, top coat and making sure it's completely dry. Um, you can get off the stamping without ruining it. I usually use tape, but I don't actually have any tape near me at the moment. I'm just going to take the other end out so I might be able to see what I'm doing. I'm going to put these in a couple of different spots. I don't know how well you can see them. So we've done that a couple of times. Now I'm going to take the holographic again. And I'm going to stamp over the white with the holographic. Um, it'll just help the lighter blue show up a little bit better. To try and line them up. <laughs> right, I don't know how well you can see that. The ones at the top are blue, the ones at the bottom are white. Kind of missed with those ones, but that's okay. No one else will know. Nobody else but us will know that it wasn't supposed to be like that. Okay, that is all we're going to do there. As I said, this is a super simple one. Not doing anything crazy, insane with it. Just a little bit here and there. 
and we're going to get to what is probably the trickiest bit. We have some nail tape here. And I'm going to cut a little piece off. Oops. My hands are a little bit sweaty, so I'm trying not to touch it where I want it to stick it to the nail. And I'm going to take this nail here. Stick the stripe down. And trim it off. Press it down. little stripe in between. And then we're going to get on to the 3D part. Um, on the two blue nails I am going to attempt to locate in this little thing here. Um, a couple of little blue hearts. Um, I noticed on a picture that uh, Sailor Mercury, I mean, I don't know if Sailor Moon and the rest do, but she has a little love heart at the center of her bow. So I'm going to find one blue one. Slash feet over this nail, pick up the heart, and it's got a little chunk out of it, but that's okay. And I'm going to do the same on this finger. Sesh V over a uh, star stamping. Not going to put anything else on that now. And then on this one here, again, we're going to put a layer of Sesh V over it. And then we're going to stick a little blue. Kind of how we did a bow on Sailor Moon. And so that is our super simple Sailor Mercury inspired nail art using blue, white and silver for one month, one Sailor Senshi. Everybody else who was involved will be linked down below. If you want to subscribe, click the button down below. Leave me a thumbs up if you like a nail art type videos. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.